thanks once again guys for tuning in we finished ta-da so this is the ta-da for the client i quite like it it's actually exactly as we designed once again predominantly white flowers a beautiful limestone patio it's gonna pop a little bench in the corner and then towards the end of the spring a lot of the plants around here they're gonna look good smell good make him feel good and he's gonna be surrounded in this sort of oasis of green foliage and predominantly white plants there's a few purple berries some of the leaves change color at this time of year but in the spring it's going to be an abundance of pachysandra terminalis we've got some bernard davidii far too many different ferns to mention favorite plants panga the old new zealand favorite dixonia antarctica we have got some amazing hydrangeas great big lobes of white flowers we have got the does anyone know what that is? It's a Cornus Cusa chinensis. We've also got another Cornus in the corner. A cornus in the corner. <laughs> Regersia pinata. We've got some amazing roadies. Great big white flowers. Lots of white. I keep saying there's white flowers. But it's what the client wanted. We have got a surprise. He doesn't know. But in amongst the white agapanthus, we've got quite a lot of really sexy, you've guessed it, white allium bulbs. So he doesn't know that that's going to happen. My favourite fern I was going to talk about is a royal fern. Let's have another competition. What's the Latin for royal fern? Answers down the bottom. Bottle of wine for the winner. Be lucky. So we've been here for five days. There's been mainly four people on site. We excavated a couple of skips worth of junk out of this space. We put down just over 100 mil of type one MOT because this is only very light use. It was well compacted. It was over a liner. We primed the paving. We've already spoken about the type of paving which was kindly supplied from Country Supplies. It's limestone. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It softens the area while it is part of the hardscape it does soften it and if you, you cast your eye back you will see that it used to be a hot tub a great big cedar deck well the cedar wasn't rotten but the the hot tub was apparently and the client got rid of the hot tub it was a bit of a sight for sore eyes the great big open square in the middle of the deck area that he didn't use he hadn't used it for years so he thought do you know what we'll get something redesigned we'll soften the place up we'll get rid of the decking and i came up with the idea of let's plant everywhere he still needed a transition to the shed or the summer house, the cedar cabin that we put in 17 years ago. And I think it's lasted tremendously well. Sad thing is folks, planting at this time of year is quite a tough one to impress people because most of the plants, they're not dead or dying, but they're dormant, you know, they've stopped taking water. So the sap stops rising in some of the bigger trees. All the leaves fall off and they kind of shrivel up and die. I mean, look at this tiny little hosta, it looks pathetic and you think, what on earth are we as garden designers and landscapers popping in little tiny things like this we haven't planted them for what they look like now i didn't go to the garden center and went oh my goodness look at this it's spectacular because it isn't we've planted these because of the spectacle that there will be in the spring these will completely die off and the, and the client will think what on earth has he planted this rubbish for it's all dead well actually some of the ferns are evergreen the pachysandra as long as the frost isn't too hard that's going to stay green millions of little tiny white flowers they disappear they're going to come back in the spring and they start off with little spikes and then they turn into these leaves that sort of open up and then you get these fronds of bright purple flowers they're going to look absolutely amazing do you love your job as much as i love mine tune in next time i'm out